Hi guys, uh, this is Jonathan Lambert with the Mathematics Development and Support Service at the National College of Ireland. Uh, and in this short video, we want to, I suppose, I want to detail how to undertake a correlation analysis uh, using uh, Microsoft Excel's Data Analysis Tool Pack. Okay, uh, and just for those guys uh, that haven't installed the data analysis tool pack, there's a technique for installing that particular tool pack uh, onto onto the data ribbon, uh, which I've covered in one of my previous videos. Uh, but for this this purposes, uh, I'm going to use the data analysis tool pack to undertake an, a correlation analysis between Ryanair Holdings uh, and the Isaac overall uh, the overall uh, index values. Uh, and just for people that probably aren't aware of this, Ryanair uh, Holdings is a I suppose they're a an aircraft company. They 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 fly planes from Dublin to Madrid and so on and so forth. They're called Ryanair, uh, and Isaac is the Isaac Stock Exchange's uh, overall index. Uh, so what I have here is I have a series of data, okay, uh, going back to the tenth of the seventh, twenty seventeen, uh, all the way through to the ninth of the eighth, twenty seventeen. I suppose in total I have. In total, I have, well, down here, I have 23 uh, observations, paired observations. I have the closing price for Ryanair Holding uh, on the 10th of the 7th, and I have the overall index value, closing index value on the 10th of the 7th, and I have these paired observations uh, all the way through the data set. And the question I'd like to answer is this, is, is there an association or more importantly, is there a correlation between Ryanair Holdings closing price and the overall Isaac benchmark index uh, index price uh, at the end of any particular day? Is there an association? Is there a correlation? I suppose more importantly, what is the strength of that association if it does exist? And to undertake this analysis is, is, is quite uh, straightforward. Uh, we go to the data ribbon in Excel. So here's the data ribbon. Uh, I choose data analysis. This is my data analysis tool pack, which I've already turned on. I choose data analysis. Okay. Uh, and once I get data analysis, let me just actually minimize that. It's the wrong sheet came up here. Okay. Well, what happened there? Uh, so once I get data analysis, what I'm going to choose is I'm going to choose off the options. I'm going to choose correlation. So I've chosen correlation here. I'm going to hit OK on correlation. Uh, I get another pop-up window. And what that window asks me to do is it says input the range. So the range values go into this particular field here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight the range. I'm going to include the labels, yeah, Ryanair Holdings. I'm going to include that across to Isaac, the Isaac overall uh, label. And I'm going to come down to the very end of the data set. So I've highlighted, I basically highlighted from D3 down to E26. This is the cell D3 here, and this is the cell E26 here. So I've actually put the data in. The data is grouped based on columns. What I'm really, what this is really saying here is that the data associated with the Ryanair Holdings variable is all listed in the column. The data associated with the Isaac index, overall index values, are listed in this column here. And I'm going to tell Excel as well, or the data analysis tool pack, that there are labels in the first row. Okay, so that's what's done. That's how straightforward this is to do. And uh, my output range, where would I like the output to be to be output to? So what I'm going to do is I just selected output range. I'm going to click on the field and I'm going to choose a cell. So I'm going to just choose this cell here. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hit OK. And what we get is we get the output that looks something like this. Let me make that a little bit better so that we can actually see what's going on here. Okay. And what we end up with is we end up with this, uh, I suppose, this, this table uh, that has correlation values in it. Yeah? The important thing for us here is the correlation between Ryanair Holdings and the Isaac Index. So actually the value that we're looking for here is this value in the cell uh, I5, which is reported in this case, okay, it's reported to be 0.8. 00627876. Now, there's many ways to interpret that particular value, but what that's really saying to us is this, is one of the ways to interpret it is that a value greater than 0.7 is indicative of what we define to be a strong association, okay? So that value is 0 0.80, so that would indicate that there's a strong association between Ryanair closing prices and the overall Isaac index. Now what it's saying is that this seems to be a strong association, yeah? But I suppose one of the other questions that we could ask, so this is my correlation value, so R is equal to 
and it's equal to let's say 0 0.0.8006 0 .8006. let me just take it to four decimal places okay now what we know is that when we look at Ryanair Holdings closing prices yeah we know that there is variation in them and there's also variation in the Isaac index overall score okay now the question that's really that we could ask next is with respect to the overall index's fluctuation or variance, yeah, how much of that variance can be accounted for by the variance that's associated with the Ryanair Holdings? Yeah? And that's called the coefficient of determination, or, or squared, yeah, which is basically equal to the square. It's equal to the square of our correlation coefficient. So it's going to be equal to I8, that's cell I8, squared, which gives us a value of 0 0.64. When I multiply that by 100, so it's equal to this, multiplied by 100, I get a percentage. So actually what this is saying, which is really interesting, it's saying that the fluctuation in the Isaac index's uh, overall price, yeah, or overall index values, yeah, okay, that that fluctuation, that r the Ryanair fluctuation or variance in the Ryanair closing prices accounts for 64% of the Isaac index fluctuations, yeah. That's pretty good for us, yeah. Uh, so that's how we perform a correlation uh, within uh, uh, Microsoft's Excel using the data analysis tool pack. It's quite straightforward. You need to know what your independent variable is. You need to know what your dependent variable is. You use the data analysis tool pack. You select correlation and you put in the appropriate values and it'll give you a table that looks something like this, which gives us our correlation coefficient. You can calculate the coefficient of determination by squaring that and then multiplying that by 100 gives you a percentage. This percentage here, 64%, represents the amount of variance in the dependent variable that's accounted for through the variance in the independent variable. Okay, guys, uh, once again, this was Jonathan Lambert with the Mathematics Development and Support Service at the National College of Ireland. Uh, and I hope this video uh, was somewhat helpful.